Howdy folks. I'm really sad lately because I can't find a job. I've tried the internet, I've tried newspapers, and I've even tried shoving my CV into people's faces. None of these methods have worked. Hang on. I know what the problem is. I've been trying to find a job in the middle of Northern England, the most miserable and confusing place on the planet. I should try somewhere else. I've got it. I'm going to search for the American dream. Hollywood, here I come. Oh, 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 by the way, in this episode, we're going to take a look at an animated film called Immigrants. Immigrants is an American-Hungarian hand-drawn animated feature film. It's about a Russian immigrant called Vlad and a Hungarian immigrant called Joska, who are on a journey to find the American dream while sharing an apartment complex with some other immigrants. Immigrants doesn't have a traditional three-act structure. It's actually a series of very short stories that chronicle Vlad and Joska's lives. It's sort of in the vein of Studio Ghibli's My Neighbors the Yamadas, meaning that it's less of a contemporary narrative and more of a collection of slice-of-life tales. The reason for this structure is simple. It was originally going to be a television series, but it never got aired. So, a bunch of the episodes were cut together into one whole feature film. The important question is, are these little stories entertaining? Well, some of the stories are too far-fetched and drew me out of the film because I found them to be too unconvincing. Like one where Yoska meets Christina Aguilera. It's a pretty silly scenario and takes away the charm of the film. In addition, a few of the stories seemed either rushed or underwritten because the conflicts are solved too easily. A conflict is only engaging if it comes across as a difficult challenge for the characters to take on. However, some of the stories are good. One story involves Vlad and Yoska setting up a Hungarian Russian restaurant. This is my favourite story because it focuses on a constructive and creative team project for all the characters to work on. I really enjoyed watching this eccentric immigrant community working together and combining their efforts to keep this unique restaurant going. So as a whole, the stories are a mixed bag. A few of the stories miss the mark, but some of the stories are engaging and funny. Yes, funny. I did actually laugh out loud very frequently while watching this movie. The jokes are great because they're well performed, timed perfectly, and written spot on. There's a lot of personality in the film's humour, and I think that it has a great idea of how to execute comedy. Now, sure, not all the jokes are funny, but a majority of them did keep me chuckling. The film's strongest aspect, however, is the convincing, touching, and sweet friendship between Vlad and Yoska. Their relationship is the heart of the film's charm. It's what holds the film together. Vlad is a fantastic character. He's happy-go-lucky and adaptable, but also has the same human desires and needs as any other person. He's so naive and goofy that it's hard not to find him adorable. I felt sorry for Vlad's employment struggles because he's such an affable, hard-working guy and has a daughter to raise. You see, Vlad is living in the US illegally, and searching for employment as an illegal immigrant is very difficult. I think that Vlad deserves good things because he's such a sweet guy, so I wish that he had been more practical about the legalities of his migration, so that he could have gotten a career to benefit himself and his daughter. Yoska, on the other hand, well, he is funny, but he doesn't have that many problems because he's living in the US legally and good luck comes to him frequently. It's hard to sympathize with him when his only burden is that he didn't get to sleep with Christina Aguilera. However, sometimes he does try very hard to help Vlad get a job. The residents of the apartment complex may be less developed than Vlad and Yoska, but as a whole, they're an eccentric bunch of characters that show support and camaraderie for the lead characters. They each have their own quirks and funny backstories that define them as characters. The animation for Immigrants was produced by Klasky Chuppo, the studio behind such cartoons as Rugrats, The Wild Thornberries, and Our Real Monsters. 
The trademark Klasky Chopo look can be recognised in everything from the buildings to the characters. The studio's design style is very strange and odd, but I personally really like it. I can understand why some people feel off-put by the bizarre character designs, but I love weird-looking cartoon characters. The animation itself reaches an acceptable level of quality. It's capable of achieving some things, but fails at other things too. I mean, the animation is flexible enough to support scenes with physical comedy, but when characters laugh, it looks like they're just talking. So yeah, the body animation is great, but the facial expressions are limited. In animated comedy, facial expressions can be very important for depicting character reactions. Eric McCormick, who is best known for playing Will on the hit sitcom Will and Grace, plays Vlad. All I can say is wow, wow. McCormick puts on a performance that's very distant from the character he's become famous for. His voice reaches a wonderful timber level, his accent is convincing, and his mannerisms are unique, most notably Vlad's distinct laugh. <laughs> I mean, listen to Will and Vlad, compare them yourselves, they're so different. Jack, take it easy, you're having a gentle breakdown. Wait a minute, you said 100! Renowned character actor Hank Azaria, who is best known for voicing many of the supporting characters on The Simpsons, provides the voice of Yoska. Azaria is a very gifted and versatile voice actor that does a brilliant job in this movie. His delivery is effective, his comic timing is spot on, and his emotions are clear. He doesn't retread a voice that he's done before on The Simpsons, he gives Yoska a new personality to listen to. The music for Immigrants is pretty cool. It's got some ethnic rhythmic tracks that give the film an exotic feel, some nice sounding pop beats, and lots of decent orchestral pieces. It's nothing outstanding, and sometimes I didn't even notice it, but it's a good effort. The film's theme is the song What Is Love by Hadaway. It gets played about three times in the movie, so if this song bugs you, then be warned. <laughs> to conclude, Immigrants is a decent movie. Its stories range from being meh to good, so it may not impress you. If you're looking for a raunchy adult comedy, then you may be disappointed because it's not that rude or sleazy. I mean, the kind of stuff that gets shown in this film is the kind of stuff that gets shown on The Simpsons in the afternoon. However, I did enjoy this movie and would watch it again before going to bed one night. So, I'm going to award it three Hungarian stars out of five. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm off to Hollywood to become a famous actor like Tom Cruise or Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs>